What's up guys? I'm Shane. Welcome back to the first era of our relegation league. Alright, so this will be a big game for us. We got two recruits coming in. Parrish, we've got such a huge lead on. I don't know if we can lock him up this week, but we might be able to. Harrison is the one I'm worried about. Right now, we're 320 back of Louisville. If we have a real good visit, then we can actually hope that Louisville is a terrible one. They're only going to gain 10 points on us a week. So if we can do this and hold on until the end of the season, and I can throw all my points at them, then maybe we can still get them. Everyone else we're really going after, we got comfortable leads now. The only one who I'm really worried about is actually Swain here. Because there's a couple, you know, Auburn and Miami look like they might be going after him. But we got such a sizable lead at this point, I'm not overly concerned. And whenever we clear up points, I might start going after Alex Bishop here. Again, we just, we need to bring in two tight ends this season. And I don't know how much I'm going to go after Marvin Ross down here. We don't really need him. 87 throw power to 79 accuracy, but he's also got 84 speed and acceleration. Plus, he's got 79 break tackle, 83 elusiveness, trucking, spin move. Like, he might even be a decent running back, and he can catch the ball real well. So he's an all-around offensive playmaker, but we already have Hill, so too little too late on him. All right, we're close to evenly matched up with Boston College now. It's not as bad as it was in years past. They're better than us, but not significantly. So hopefully we stand a chance. We need to try and get the win here. We also need to run for about 100 yards and pass for 250 for the offensive linemen. But the rushing for 100 yards is actually the priority, so I'm going to try and let Frazier get away with a lot of stuff today. Uh, I'll let Sledge just take this one out. Yeah, that was a good idea. Oh, he's gone. Goodbye. Wait, we need yards. Crap. All right, so Sledge uh, breaking Henry's old record. And... Yeah, he uh, he might have just pretty good uh, lead on returner of the year now after that one. All right, if defense is going to stop here, we can go up 14-0. That would be great. Because all I'm going to try and do is just throw for a bunch of yards now. Oh, well, never mind. Okay, the game's glitching out a little bit. And there's a flag. I'm going to get us a face mask. No clipping. Oh, thank God for that one. Screen. I got hit. Warren got... Oh. He got trucked and still got the tackle. Good job, defense. Oh, even on this sledge got a good return. 24 yards on that. Usually I have to get the block to clear it out like that. All right, so I'm going to try and get some passing yards out of the way first. Yeah, that was a good snag by Miller. Third and two. Can't convert. Uh, we're going to go for it. Same play. There, that's a lot better. He's in with the catch. No, he can't stiff arm either. I'm going to try and do better. I always go for either a truck or a juke. I never spin. I never stiff arm. Nothing. So I'm going to try and use more of these moves. And maybe that's what I'm missing from my game. Oh, that guy got turned around on Mason. That's a touchdown, and that means we start simulating defense. All right, they got a big touchdown run on that one. So, might be a back and forth. And then I take a dumb sack. All right, let's see what the coverage is on Mason. That guy can't cover him. Fourth and four. Do I go aggressive here? I think I do. And Frazier... No, he didn't quite get it. They're saying he was down. I'm going to challenge it, though. Because that was so close. No, all right. It's worth a shot. Oh, that wasn't good. Come on, Warren. There we go. Take him down to the backfield. Let's try and keep him just to a field goal down here. And they threw an incompletion there. There's almost a deflection. That actually almost could have been a pick, too. Alright, they're going to go aggressive. 
And he went out of bounds. Oh, they return the turnover on downs back to us. I mean, they have us pinned at the five, but you know. At least they didn't score. Here comes a blitz. Means Frazier's open. That linebacker is playing man on Mason again, isn't he? No, it's a blitz. Winston just sitting there open. He gets the first down. Oh, beat the blitz. Couldn't get the block there, but that's all right. Frazier with the first down. I'm going to take a timeout now. Again, they're not covering Mason on these. Oh, perfect. Wade got that block. I got just enough to get the first down. Well, it's worked like 15 times today. Let's see if the smash route is going to work one more time. No. Hey, man, this is all gravy. Even if we don't convert here, as long as I don't turn it over. There's Triangle. There's Barnes. Another touchdown grab for him. I don't know if that's back-to-back -back games. I can't remember if he scored one in the first or second game last week. All right, and it'll simulate the kickoff, and that'll bring us into the second half. We'll be up by 14 points, kicking them the ball. All right, the defense forced them to punt the ball to us. So now, hopefully, we can even extend this lead further. All right, we've only got 13 rushing yards on the day, though. So we're going to have to start doing something about that. It's a nice start. Oh, I tried to slide. It didn't work, but luckily... We got the fumble picked up. Thank you, Bates. Oh, my God, Mason. I know I'm supposed to start running the ball, but there was no one there. What's funny, had that been Barnes playing tight end right there, it could have been a touchdown. That's the only upside of putting the little dude out there. And a read option got killed. And again, this guy can't... They can't cover Winston. If I really wanted to, I could just throw him the ball exclusively. And Evans with a nice grab. I was going to try and take off and take on that guy one-on-one. -on -one, and then I realized Evans was actually a little in front of his defender. Now I got sacked. All right, we'll take the field goal. Uh, and we missed it. Wow, even with the wind. Dang, this kicker has no power whatsoever. Oh, no, he made it. No. No. He missed it. I'm very confused. All right, defense let in another touchdown. Missing that field goal is going to hurt a lot if we can't get anything going on this drive. Oh, why did I throw that? I'm so used to them blowing the coverage on those that I'm like, oh, he'll be wide open. I don't even have to think about it. No. <sighs> Just when I thought I'd get through a whole game without a pick. Oh, I missed the tackle, and he stiff-armed everyone. It'll be a great feeling in like a year or two when we can actually make these tackles. But now is not the time. With a PAT here, they're going to tie it right back up. All right, so that was a bot screen pass. Let's see what we can do here. Come on, Miller on a slant. Everyone was very confused where Winston was going. All right, pick up the first. There we go. Winston wide open. Oh my god, Winston open. 25 yards. Getting real close to field goal range now. Ah, sack. Mason still... this. I should just be running this play all the time. <laughs> I This should just be the only play I make. And that was Allen on that pass, because once again, Hill got injured. Bruce Ribs will return soon. This guy must have an injury rating of like 5. There we go. Winston again got open. And there's our 250. So at least we did that to impress the recruit. Try and get a good run to center the ball here. All right. We're going to go for the field goal here. It's still 11 seconds left. But just in case something screwy happens. There we go. All right. They got nine seconds and two timeouts. I'm going to take it underneath. All right, there should be a Hail Mary here. Should be the last play of the game.
And incompletion. That was actually close. They beat the coverage. Whew. Nail biter. All right, we were in control of that game most of the time and then just sort of made a couple mistakes at the end. But that was a great return by Sledge. So we impressed the recruits enough. Didn't get the 100 rushing yards. We got everything else. And Sledge with player of the game. Not even a great day returning kicks. All right, so in relief, Allen went 2 of 2 for 39 yards on that last drive. Hill actually had a really good game. 20 of 23, 222 yards, two touchdowns, and that one pick. That was just me thinking I had something that I didn't. Did take three sacks, and that was mostly me holding onto the ball too long. So the player was great. I ruined him. Frazier with 55 yards on the ground, but with those sacks, Hill had negative 12. Mason, once again, this is like year one Mason. Eight catches, 120 yards, and a touchdown. Frazier had five for 31. Those screen passes just weren't working that well. Winston, only four for 61, but felt like he had a bigger impact. And then Barnes, once again, coming in here and getting another touchdown catch. Thornton led the team with five tackles. We had four TFLs by Skinner, Freeman, Carter, and Matthews. No sacks, no picks, no fumbles. Martin with one of two. His longest was 21, and I feel like even that was out of his range. What was the other one? The other one was less than 39 yards, and he couldn't even make that. Sledge only had two kick returns, but he brought one back for a 105-yard touchdown. He took home player of the game with that. And he also had two punt returns for 30 yards. All right, so that was pretty good. You know, we probably could have won by a lot more had I not ruined it, but... Hey, a win's a win. We're going to jump forward a week. Let's see. I don't think anyone's going to sign, but let's see if we can really make a dent in any of these people. All right, so somehow by just going 200 points a week, these guys, I've actually, I take the lead on Hall and Jones were neck and neck with Notre Dame. Now, I don't necessarily need these guys. Actually, what are they good at? I don't remember. Uh, this guy's a halfback. Yeah, I mean, at this point, if I'm going to choose between taking a 78 overall Juco at cornerback or having one of the, like, sophomores who's going to actually even a redshirted freshman, who's going to be like a 71. I'm just going to take this guy. I don't really care about the long-term death. All right, we'll put more points into these two. Everyone else, because the leads are so good, I'm not worried. Like, Ryan, we're only offering 600 instead of 700, but we're fine. You know, the only problem here is Harrison. We had our visit. We have a 715-point lead. Louisville has their visit, I think, this week. I don't know. I honestly don't know what week it is right now. And then we got all these people ready to visit, so let's get these guys scheduled. It's week seven, all right. And so do I bring them in this week? Do I go, you know what? I'm going to bring them in this week. A couple other people on the board. If I can clear up some points, maybe I'll go after them. Plus, Marshall is a worse team, like a way worse team than UConn. So I'd rather take a bet on myself getting these stuff, like all the stuff done against Marshall than doing it against UConn. All right, so again, rush for 100, pass for 250. Two sacks of the linebacker, eh. Four swats, two picks, probably not. This is mostly the defensive side, and pass to a tight end for 100 yards. Might be able to do that one. There is an 85 overall punter, allegedly, with A kick power and C kick accuracy. You know what? I'm not impressed by our kicker so far. And this guy has B and B, so we're going to go after these two. You know, I'm not going to take any points away for, recruit, for uh, scouting him right now. But just in case something opens up, I would not mind replacing the kicker. All right, Marshall's actually a better team than Boston College was. But they're pretty close to the bottom of the conference, I believe. They, like, they're borderline going to get relegated. So it'd be nice to be above 500 right now because we're going to have a brutal stretch coming up. I just think it's funny the way the relegation league is shaking up. Like, oh, you know, UMass versus Marshall in an ACC game. Yeah, you know, that's all. All of the recruits we brought in today, we are running away with them. So as far as actual individual stats, all that stuff, it'd be nice. But really, let's just go for the dub. And, you know, my usual reminder of I didn't put it on conservative catch yet. Oh, I thought I was going to sneak that in there. I didn't see Williams breaking on it. That's going to be a pick six. Well, oh my god. Wow, that was me. That I led him, but that was still real bad. Oh my god, Winston again. This guy's definitely making the biggest impact out of all these uh, freshman wide receivers we brought in. There it is. We need to pass it a tight end. Get Smash out here. I don't know how they can cover this, though. They didn't bother. This place is so broken right now. Okay, they wanted to run it again. That was even more wide open. They want to call it a third? Oh, wait a second. 
No, that's that's coach suggestions. I thought I was in recent plays. No, that's coach suggestions. Three straight smashes. They look like they're a little more keen on it this time. Nope. They're just rotating through defenders. Let's try and cover it with this guy. And this is getting progressively worse. And coach is back to calling smash. He's fed up with this. Even more wide open. That would have been a touchdown from the 50. All right, I know nothing about Marshall's offense. I have not actually paid any attention to them since I think like Byron Leftwich was there. And he's a coordinator now, so that tells you how long ago that was. Yeah, there he goes. His offensive line gave him all day, but we had everyone locked up. Oh, I tried to lead him into it, and then when I came back to tackle him, it was a weird angle. I kind of went around him. Okay. <laughs> he broke off one tackle and just ran into everyone else. Every time on these draw plays. And he trucks off the defender. So even when we shed the blocks, it doesn't matter. This drive is very frustrating because we're either stopping them in like the backfield or they're getting 11 yards. There's no in between. Yeah, see there, we got a sack on that one, but watch, they're gonna get a touchdown pass the next play. And he tried to take off, we got the sack. All right, finally a stop. And to add to the luck, somehow from the 20, they missed the field goal. Coach keeps calling it because it, it keeps working. That guy actually read it properly that time, and it didn't matter. He was still out of position by the time I threw the ball. 25 on that. Mason has 88 receiving yards, five catches, all on smash. This is the same, but different. Let's put Miller on a slant. Okay. That was actually underthrown. Had I thrown that accurately, Mason probably could have taken that back for six. But that's 100 tight end receiving yards already. So the 68 overall tight end. Thoroughly impressed now. That block. Perfect. Oh my god. Winston was holding a block downfield too. Take that inside the five yard line. Okay, I knew what the read was, but I figured we'd have a better chance with Frazier getting a rushing touchdown than Hill. So I blew that one on purpose for once. I'm going to take this drive. I'm going to let the computer try it. All right, sweet. So they forced a three and out. Or, well, they forced a punt at least. I'm going to take occasional drives if it's a closer game. Just to cut these down. I mean, the fact that we've had two or three games already that have gone the full length. I need to sim some drives. Like, the Boston College game was obviously the first part of this episode. But I sim so much of it, it'll still go quick, even though it was a three-point win for us. I don't think the counter is going to work here. I like I like the halfback dive better. Especially with some nice cuts by Frazier. Okay, our, Frazier was calling for the ball, but he was running further behind the defender. If he had changed direction, I would have gone for that. But instead, yeah, I'll take the 12-yard run. Webb somehow fighting, gets that over for a first down. Hmm, I don't know if the sweep play is going to work, but I'll try it. Oh, that big truck. We got in for a touchdown. That actually almost didn't work. But hold, what happened? Why is the ball all the way over there? I'm going to play this drive just because there's only 22 seconds left, and I'd rather not have the computer do something stupid and give a big touchdown. Like, I'd rather take this. Oh, my God. See, if they're going to give a big touchdown, I want to do it myself. That's a Hail Mary. And we swat it out at the end. Good play. Okay, Coach wants to go for a big blitz. I'm not convinced they're definitely running it here. He suggested Renegade. Yeah, all right, I'll take that. Why did you take a timeout? Oh, they're just going to go for a Hail Mary here. It, yeah, okay, it's fourth down. It makes sense. I would have just run out the quarter, though, to be fair. Oh, my God. And he dropped it. <laughs> Scott was wide open down there. Hey, one down. That'll impress the recruit. We're going to halftime up 21-7. to and there's seven. That was us throwing them a pick six. All right, defense forced a real quick three and out. All right, a way better day running the ball so far, too. We're at 46 yards. 
45 yards. Oh, Webb broke off that guy. I'm like, oh no, that guy played it with better play rec than I thought he was gonna. And then he didn't make a tackle. We're at close to 200 yards passing too, so we're actually... We can get the ball, like, a lot of good runs here. Not like that. But we get some runs going here. We can actually impress the recruits on both fronts. Really impress that left tackle and pull away. I think I'm just giving it to Frazier no matter what, though. Which is good, because that was the proper read. Oh, thank you for leaving Evans open. Tight end cross is my favorite play out of here, but it's so hit or miss. Because if you get a linebacker blitz, then you're going to have one of them wide open. But if they drop into coverage, you're just going to have to throw that ball away. Oh, Wade broke open in for a touchdown. Honestly, I could have taken off and gotten a first down on that, but I saw Wade streaking across. Thank you! And we got a pick from Thomas. All right, so one down. Again? Again, I underthrew that, and he still managed to get up. Trucked a guy and got 18 yards on that. If that was accurately thrown, he would have been out. Coach wants the screenplay. It actually looks decent. Well, we got five of it back. But hopefully we're back in field goal range. I know our kicker doesn't uh doesn't appreciate it. Yeah, we're at the 22. The kid <laughs> he still can't make this kick. It is a 39-yard field goal, bud. If you can't make this, then I'm putting the punter in to do kicks. Oh, I didn't get max power on it. I need max power to make a 39-yarder. Wow. I'm very confused about this last drive. Penalty defense, 15-yard penalty. Incomplete pass, 15-yard penalty, but now we got the ball again. Somehow, since the last update I gave you on how many yards we have, we have only gained eight rushing yards. So... And we just lost another one, so seven rushing yards. And we need two more passing yards to impress the recruit. Here goes Wade. Holds on to it, first down. Yeah, we just, we can't get any runs up the middle because our offensive line is trash. And the outside runs don't work because the offensive line is trash. Our options on run play are run it up the middle and hope that the offensive line, like, gets in the way enough. Or just, uh, okay, he'll get the first down. Or if we run it to the outside, we gotta hope that there's a blitz to the other side. Because that's it, the offensive line isn't holding a block long enough for, uh, for Frazier to get back to the line of scrimmage. No, I'm not kicking the field goal here. That kicker doesn't deserve it. Plus, maybe the defense can get a safety. Nah, they killed the rest of the game on that. Oh, well, we still take a 28-7 win. All right, so the final stats. Hill goes 19-24, 259 yards, five touchdowns, the one pick and the one sack. So, pretty good game. That pick six at the beginning, but that's all Marshall did. We outran him, or outscored him 28-0 for the rest of the game. Frazier, 41 yards and two touchdowns. Hill had 35, so we needed 100. We got 76. Close. Mason, again, 8 for 133 and a touchdown. They could not stop Smash. Frazier had 4 for 39. Wade had 3 for 34 and a touchdown. Webb, 2 for 20, including one real impressive one. Evans, 1 for 17, and Winston, 1 for 16. That drop, it was on him, but I didn't put it on conservative catch, and I need to do that. Thornton, again, leading the team, 5 tackles. The shortened quarters means that we're only getting five tackles for our leader instead of... I've seen Bautista with, like, I want to say 18 one time. A lot of TFLs, but did any of them from the linebackers. Two for Watson, one for Freeman, Matthews with one, Mosley with one, and Thornton with one. So two, we needed four out of linebackers, and sacks. Watson with two, so I'm glad I left him in here. Freeman with one, Mosley with one, so all of that coming from our defensive tackles. Warren and Thomas both with picks, so we got the recruit impressed there. King with two, pass deflection. Scott with one. We needed one more. But again, simulating, the defense gets this stuff. I never get it, though. Martin, you suck. All right, so actually, I'm going to jump forward one week. We'll take a quick look. I just want to see if we sign any of these guys. Uh, probably not, though, but I'm hoping. All right, perfect. We were about to lose 500 points this week. We signed Joe Ryan. That'll clear those points up. Oh, we got the tight end, too. All right, never mind. Now we can really start hammering down with some of these. Yeah, and see, this is actually updating throughout as we're signing recruits. So now 2018, we're going to be 33. We were at number 38. And 2019, which we will not be playing that year, 
we're gonna be ranked 41. So hopefully this means I am setting up this team to do well even after I'm done playing. Hill's only gotten a plus one so far. We're only at 79. I thought we'd be a little further ahead. But all right, that was a real good back-to-back -back right there. One game that should have been a blowout and wasn't, and one game that was. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked the video, please be sure to hit like down below. If you want to see more from me, be sure to subscribe. Hit that notification bell to get it delivered directly to your inbox every single time I upload. Any thoughts, suggestions, what have you, leave all that down in the comment section below. Everything you leave down there, I will always respond to, unless you are the trolliest of trolls. Thank you guys for watching. I'm Shane. I'm out.